All right, this is Nights in White Satin. This should be a really easy song for me to, to, to teach y'all or show y'all how I play it. And it's turning out to be rather hard because a couple of things I should cover. Anyway, one major thing today is I'm playing a G flute. Not an A, but a G flute. I had a request for that. And for your knowledge, from what people tell me, F sharp, G, and A are the most popular keys out there. Now, if you go to my channel, click on the site or the listing that says Background Music for Lessons, you will find the Moody Blues backup music to where you can play along. However, you will need a key that is marked back here E. Not A or not G, but E, because that's the key it came in. Actually, E minor, but we're not going to get into that. If your flute is marked E, you can play along with it. The same with the House of the Rising Sun. If you go to that same listing, you will find three different versions. One is mine. It's not too good, but it's all right. If you have a flute that is marked A, Native American flute, Native American scale, then you can play along with some real music to House of the Rising Sun. Now, if I say any more, I'm going to confuse y'all, and I'm going to confuse myself. So, with that said, oh, and one other thing. There will be one more video, but before you watch that video, you should hopefully watch the video I put up just earlier that is called Nights in White Satin on the Native American Flute because it shows all the enhancements, all the accents, all the runs, and I, I kind of overdid it, just giving you a variety of what you could put in there. If you'll listen to that, there's going to be one more video where I will teach or try to show what I did. So anyway, let's do nice and white. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I have a TV I'm trying to watch, sheet music I'm trying to watch, and I'm trying to watch. There's a lot going on here for my little old brain. All right. This first phrase is this. Now you're going to repeat it again. Then you're going to go. Now to do the song correctly, we're going to play all that one more time. And then this, this is the last part. It goes, the words go something like, cause I love you. Yes, I love you. Oh, how I love you. One more time on the cause I love you part. You just, you don't only play it once, but just to make sure you get it. Goodness, I've overworked my flute today is trying to water out. Now, in saying this, the your upper register may play different. It may play like that. It may play like that. Uh, depending on your flute. Anyway, that's nice and white satin. There is one more video coming out where I will actually show you the runs. 
that I do the enhancements, the finger trills. Uh, now I'm not saying play like I play, but this will give you some idea if you've learned about finger trills and, and all these other things, this will give you a song to actually put them into. Good luck and we'll talk to you later.